I'm Megan Woolerton for Stand Appliances here with the Eugen Robot iClebo RD. iClebo stands for Intelligent Cleaning Robot. Now, to some extent, that's true. This $500 robot vacuum has a lot of special features. For the price, a lot of robot vacuums we've tested have pretty basic functionality. They have, you know, a spot cleaning mode and a regular cleaning mode, and that's about it. Instead, this robot vacuum goes way beyond that. They have a max cleaning mode, a regular mode, a mop mode, all kinds of special features. And that makes it really cool. Also in terms of features, it has two side brushes, which is more than Neato BotVac or iRobot's Roomba brand. But I really think that the mop feature stands out the most. It's really a robot vacuum, but it has this special feature that a lot of robot vacuums don't. You can use this microfiber cloth dry for dusting the floor, or you can wet it and use it kind of as a mop. Unfortunately, it doesn't have a water reservoir, so it's not a full-fledged mop, but it can get kind of basic maintenance. With all those features, I had some pretty high expectations for this robot vacuum. Unfortunately, it didn't do very well in our performance tests. It actually scored the lowest in two out of the three categories we tested. It did better than the Infinuvo Hobo 510 on pet hair, but that's just because the 510 wasn't able to pick up any pet hair. As far as its mop capabilities, it did okay. We tend to push it to the limits a little bit, so I spilled a good bit of coffee for the wet test, and it sort of just spread it around the room and got really a sticky coating of coffee and creamer on the floor. For the dry mop test, I spread a bunch of cornstarch around, and it kind of just pushed it to the corners. I also wet the microfiber cloth, and it did a little bit better, but this is really best for low maintenance. If the floor looks clean but just needs a little bit of tidying up, this would probably do an okay job. It's actually pretty similar in terms of features to the Manual Rydus H67 Pro. We'll be testing that next week, so stay tuned for our review. So overall, I wouldn't really recommend this robot vacuum, even though it has a ton of great features. Thanks for watching. I'm Megan Woolerton for CNET Appliances.